Hello and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Yes, it's not our usual spot in the studio, but you know, sometimes it's good to come out, you know, to see what the creatives are up to. And that's why we're here at the LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus in Lagos. Now let's have a look at what we have for you on this week's episode of the program. <music> The National Troupe of Nigeria has been doing many performances despite many challenges. We have a sit-down with the Artistic Director and Chief Executive Officer, Ahmed Mohamed. Then we see some creatives planning and preparing for their group exhibition after undergoing a training program. We'll see that and more in a moment but you know it's still the month of love and our wordsmith for this week has some words to share with you our wordsmith for this week is by Ilo Daniel Adeyemi titled Valentine's Prodigy It explodes in the air like a fierce rocket, aiming far beyond the blue sky. So her love did. It explodes in my heart till it reaches my core. Her beautiful smile cools my aching mind. It sweetens me like palm wine, intoxicating till I become helpless, dangling around like sagged balls. She's so crafted with her loving, in the prodigy of her affection, I feel like a fifth grader with no worries. No brainer, I wrapped myself gently in her arms. I feel comforted. It's Valentine's Day, my love, but seems not like one. Every day with you is Valentine, a day to share a smile, to love without consciousness, to hold hands until we're made perfect. On today's episode of the program, we're going to be showing you a lot of behind the scene moments so that you better appreciate the amount of grind and sweat that goes into any production, whether it's visual arts or performances. The first stop is the National Troupe of Nigeria. <laughs> At the Dubai Expo 2020, the National Troupe kept Nigeria's flag flying with performances during the National Day. <laughs> to a collaboration with the Belgian state government that talks about unity in diversity, for the children's creative station with images to show for it. Another creative station, this time in the southwest, Abeokuta Ogun State, directed by Pamela Udoka. But the children were allowed to work on their own terms after weeks of tutoring by professionals. Yes. 
Before that, Strings, a command performance in Lagos, is a history lesson for the audience, emphasizing the need for the country to remain united. All these and more are being done under the watchful eyes of the artistic director, Ahmed Mohammed, who hit the ground running against all odds. A lean purse, a depleted team of in-house performers and more. I felt that, uh, yes, the national troupe, you know, as the, I mean, the performing institution of Nigeria has really gone down in terms of its performance. And the best way we could be able to revive it is to ensure that every institution within, I mean, every system within the institution is really working. So when I came in, I was able to sit with my management and understand exactly what are the issues. Uh, having also my own background information that I've already gotten. And then we said, okay, the best we could do is, first of all, let's raise the morale of our staff. Ah, ah, the village is nice, though. You see, we went to the village last year for the New Year Festival. I saw dancers. I saw masquerades. In fact, I saw many things. When we came back from the village west, my grandmother, I mean, my father's mother told us a story. In which the festival made us remember. What we do was to also bring the children together so that they can be able to blend among themselves first. Uh, we realized that, uh, you know, their strength in terms of even looking at the script to translate it into what we wanted them to do. You know, each of them are different faces. And there are two girls that I realized that uh, they couldn't even read good English at that time. But luckily, within that period of time, they were able to open up, they were able to understand their scripts and their lines. And behold, on the final day, you need to see how they performed. And that's one of the things that the Children's Creative Station is doing to children. To ensure that we build their self-efficacy, their command in English, and their own relationship, you know, you know, relationship among themselves. And that's what exactly what it does. And that cannot happen until we bring them together. Yeah, they share the experiences, who is weak, who is strong, how do they, you know, build each other, you know, in terms of their capacity. You get the point. Ours is facilitative. But the whole idea of the story will come from them. The message of unity always resounds wherever the troop goes. He who brings us infested firewood home invites lizards to a feast. We did not live well among ourselves. We are always fighting one tribal war after another. Ah, but that is not enough reason for any transparent white man to come and rule over us. Strange is also one of our major projects. It's a folk music drama uh, that, uh, that uh, really uh, exerts Nigeria's, uh, I mean, birth, you know, from colonial period to independence to even the, I mean, the situation we're having ourselves today. Uh, we are trying to ensure that the youth who lost the history of Nigeria, who think probably we've got our uh, independence on the part of gold, need to understand that there are so many things that go that went through, you know, in this country before we become who we are. Every ethnic group was able to contribute intellectually, politically, to ensure that the British gave us power, not because they wanted to go, but because we really earned it. And that struggle is what should have been an impetus to our youth to understand that this country is great, and then it requires also their own intellectual ability and their strength to, you know, to, 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 to be strengthened and then be focused towards a direction that we wanted to take it to for our own development. Reviving the touring tradition, generating funds through public-private partnerships and giving artists a better deal is part of the plan. You did not offer all the colour no. Child is born. We use the to tell us what the child is 
our pocket has already been exhausted. The government has given us resources for the 2021, you know, programming. That's the 2021 budget. Uh, and we are losing our last bit to ensure that we are in Abuja. So the intention of us being in Abuja is to open up other opportunities for ourselves and for the greater part of Nigeria, uh, so that we can be able to build, you know, a kind of a relationship with other corporate organizations, the diplomatic core, and other non-governmental organizations. Even within the six geopolitical zones, let's take this play. So in each zone, we can be able to share the play and people can come and watch and, you know, take some messages, you know, back home so that we can be able to, you know, think about the issue of unity, understand our country as one of the best countries in the world, and for people to understand that, yes, each and every one of us has a stake. We share the dense rainforest with the Ondo people. I want to leave a legacy of a strong institution that can really stand the test of time. An institution that has the assemblage of the artists that will be required to move to every part of this country and perform in every part of the world at any given time. An institution that can vouch for all logistics that will be required for it to really operate in terms of transportation, the, uh, I mean, uh, we are also using the high tech to ensure we communicate, you know, uh, with the rest of the world. You know, uh, even the environment itself. Uh, when you look at the environment we are living today, even, you know, it's not quite habitable uh, because of the National Theatre has been renovated. So we need some resources to ensure that this place is really put in a situation that, you know, every cell that comes in will feel home, at home, you know, not just, uh, you know, a place that uh, you feel probably you don't want to come come back to tomorrow. So I wanted to leave a legacy of a strong institution that can be able to stay the test of time. It's all about building a resounding legacy that will make creatives proud to be called thespians from the National Troop of Nigeria. Interesting, and there's loads where that came from, but that will be coming up in a moment. But first, let's see the works of art you sent in this week. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Ajayi Clement has in her Euphoria is a mixed media on paperwork. Then Aziz Nofiu is celebrating two veterans in the art world, Professor Wode Shuinka and Dr. Bruce Onogwaikweya, with this oil on canvas piece he calls The Great. Then I found the maiden is an acrylic on canvas piece done by Abiola Abdusalam. While in our glow is a work by Prerex Chooks. Kanya Nkanga has his fabric collage on canvas work. While Ogochukumeri shows us life in the village, the first in the series done with acrylic on canvas. Then Charles Osaro has this one. He says, it takes a beholder. It's a mixed media work. While Beauty Industry is on oil on canvas work by Iwasha Ben. A Love to Die For, our time series, is an acrylic on canvas work by Awobusui Yomi. And Innocent Chikeze shows us the last three virgins done with acrylic on canvas. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We encourage you to keep them coming. Experimentation 
is the unparalleled freedom of whatever comes to the mind of a creative in the use of ideas and materials. These young artists were preparing for an exhibition before our cameras caught them at the Alexis Gallery in Lagos. But we needed to really understand all the work and the thinking and the planning that goes on behind the scene before the day. Alexis Galleries, the Dream Gallery is the venue for this convergence in Lagos. Works of art from paintings to mixed media and sculptural pieces, all in shapes and sizes, even books that will give any curious mind a window into the art of Nigeria. All beautifully crafted with attention to details, neatly placed, waiting to dazzle art collectors that walk into this space. Irresistible as they are, they're not our focus. Today we take a look at some of the hands that create these wonders and they are hard at work. In this workspace, the difference is clear from the exhibition hall. It's not about order, it's about expression, something the gallery is taking these artists through. I'm expressing the emotional life of women, you know, how they respond to things, how they think, their behavior for a woman. A lot of things affect her easily. So the work I have titled it The Suitors. Uh, so, but in the bracket I have, it's you I want. It's all about brushes, paint, canvas, to other essential and unconventional tools of trade. But top on the list is a creative mind. So far, I've been able to come up with a body of works I title uh, Lost Identity. So one behind me right now, it's about our identity as man, being kings, and then we are limited due to the struggles and many other distractions in life. I'm also a Christian and find out that, oh, we are kings so by identity. We know that we have a supreme God that made us all in his image. And then seriously, I portray that with the man. They having a crown, and being a king still limited. So that's basically what my works are talking about. See the, the style of my painting is uh, anthropomorphic in nature. That's the hybrid of uh, animal head on human body. So the the painting behind me, I titled it um, "Power is not given; it is taken." Mm -hmm. You see, I I got the inspiration from the uprising at um, Afghanistan in two thousand and last last year, two thousand and one where the, 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 
Taliban people came around and took power from the government. So uh, if you if you notice, they they didn't come um, pleading for them to take part. They came and they just took over the whole place. So it's, 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 it's a concept that power is not given to you on a platter of gold. You have to go for it. You have to take it by force. See, it's, 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 it's a global uh, phenomenon. I've been able to produce a series of works. So it's a series and it's titled Labake. So uh, part of the series are the ones you're seeing behind me. So um, I tend to tell a story because I am from a polygamous home. So I tend to uh, tell a story about those black women and what they face in, in, um, in, in, their, in their individual lives. I make my um, figures with a round, big round eyes, you know, serve as a window to the experiences that they have been through. Allowing those juices flow one canvas at a time, with all the individuals focused on the image before them. The residence uh, program um, has been amazing so far, and um, part of the benefits that I believe that I'm going to achieve in this residency is um, exposure. You know, when you partake in this kind of uh, show, you tend to be open to the world, to the public, to see what you're really made of. So I believe it's going to give me a kind of exposure to the, to the audience, you know, to see that uh, this is what I am capable of doing as an artist. It has been a tradition for Alexis Gallery in the last few years to open each calendar year with, um, with a residency that aims to guide, mentor, and train, I mean, and promote young and emerging artists. So this is why we are having, presently having this residency. As they conclude this artist residency program, all the works of art done here have been showcased in a group exhibition. If you thought that was amazing, we'll have some more interesting things for you, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On the next episode of the program. Growing up, I, I realized that um, what art was, and um, I, I've come to really appreciate is art. Yeah, my work is basically about faces and character and lines. Do remember that your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Go to our YouTube page, view, like and share the program. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. Taking my chance with the Are You Here, a solo player. It's one of our local games that should never be forgotten. And that's how we wrap up this week's episode of the program. I hope you enjoyed taking this journey with us as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And if you did, let's interact on any of our social media platforms. And do remember, go to our YouTube page, view, like, and share, so more people can appreciate the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Kim, I'm encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.